will be pasta. We'll, uh, okay, okay. If it's fine for you, since uh, just to sit down. Yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, would you like a 10 minute break? Okay, that's perfect from there. Yeah, oh, okay. lady in red will be Okay, okay. And you have water and cakes? Thank you. Um, anything else? You guys it's okay? fine. Okay. Just, uh, you know, if we can invite people here. We wait. Tell them to stay. Yeah? I told them to stay. You told them to yeah. stay. No. I've asked uh, if they can gather people from there and we wait uh, another two minutes. That's good. <laughs> Another minute and then we go. Another minute and then we go. Okay, so we start. Uh, thanks uh, for, uh, for joining this session. Uh, so we will uh, present you the Cisco Technology Radar and how at Cisco we uh, identify and monitor emerging uh, technology trends. Uh, so the agenda. I will first introduce uh, the current industry context. So what is happening from uh, a technology and business uh, perspective into, into IT? Then uh, I will uh, uh, enter into introducing what is the tech radar, how at Cisco we identify and track uh, technology trends, uh, and how this uh, methodology helps uh, fostering innovation within the company. Uh, then uh, we will uh, move uh, to presenting uh, the technology trends we believe will impact the industry in the next 18 to 36 months. Uh, Sylvan will uh, provide you with uh, some insights on some of these trends uh, in order to, for you to get uh, an, a bit of an understanding of what is our vision, what we think uh, these trends will, uh, will bring. Uh, last but not least, uh, after this uh, presentation, we'll be, we will have uh, a 30-minute session on the opposite side of, uh, of the DevNet area. And here we want really to engage with you in a, in a conversation about, okay, what to expect next in the industry, what we see emerging, uh, and what uh, should be, you know, top technologies or trends we should, uh, we should monitor. You will find also uh, on the chair the, the reports. Uh, you can have a look at uh, what we have... Uh, recently published uh, in, the, in the context of uh, the Cisco technology radar. So, uh, as I said, uh, uh, there are, um, what is happening from a technology and business perspective in, uh, in IT? I would say that there are two striking uh, uh, features of, uh, of IT, especially from an innovation perspective. The first thing is that really innovation is, uh, is accelerating, so the pace of change over time has been uh, increasing. And this slide indeed gives you a, a clear understanding of what we mean by pace of innovation. 
Uh, if you look, we have uh, taken uh, patents as a proxy of innovation and have looked at uh, you know, patent filing, so inventive activity over time uh, in the last 20 years. And we have the linked these patent filings to main innovation uh, introduced in IT. And what clearly emerged from, from the graph is that starting from, uh, okay, the trend has always been positive, but if you see starting from 2002, 2004, the steepness of the curve has been really increasing. And what is nice to see is that uh, invention, new uh, transitions uh, were happening not only into the internet uh, domain or the networking domain, uh, but really spreading from uh, uh, mobility, computing, and, uh, and storage. So beyond this fact, it's important to say, okay, what are the implications of this at the end? And from our perspective, the implications are quite challenging because if you think uh, now products have a faster product cycle, uh, then uh, there is an increasing complexity. And all this uh, is bringing to a more volatile and high volatile technology landscape uh, where basically disruption is, is easier to occur. Uh, the second, uh, as I said, key striking fact about uh, innovation in IT is uh, basically that IT innovation is really spreading into, into distant domains. And what is changing as per today is that, okay, we all know that IT since the start was transversal to many industries and helped industry in gaining efficiency in improving business operations. What is changing today is that innovation in IT is really enabling new products and solutions in, uh, in distant domains. As an example, we have uh, looked uh, at uh, some IPv6 related inventions and we wanted to say, okay, which are the industries that on the basis of these inventions are ex actually expanding their technological frontier. And here we, we clearly see that, uh, I mean, uh, ranging from healthcare to automotive or aviation, all these industries are building on IT innovation to release new products and, uh, and solutions. And again, we also see, I mean, uh, other, you know, uh, rising industries with uh, maybe a smaller impact, but with a high growth, especially in the recent uh, period, uh, ranging from uh, lighting to smart home or industrial manufacturing. Again, uh, what does this imply for us, uh, for, uh, you know, for the IT industry? I would say that uh, this is really, again, representing uh, on one side an opportunity, on the other a challenge. An opportunity because basically the industry boundaries are enlarging. So we, we have to you know, scout uh, the external environment on a, on a larger scale because disruption could, could come from distance uh, domains. That's why the, the key question in this, uh, in this current environment is really to, to answer, okay, how do we stay at the technological frontier? How to ensure that we don't miss big things or miss opportunities of future long-term business growth? And at Cisco, uh, the answer has been uh, the technology radar. So this is uh, an internal platform that, uh, uh, um, that we use uh, in order to track, uh, to identify first, uh, track and monitor emerging technology trends. It's uh, a methodology that is based on uh, industry best practices. Uh, so uh, the, um, the framework has also been adopted in other R&D intensive industries, thinking to the pharma industry or the automotive industry. Uh, then uh, at Cisco, we have taken this methodology and adopted uh, it, uh, trying to tailor it to our first of all, values and needs. So as per today, the initiatives, uh, I would, the initiative I would say is organized around three main pillars. We have an identification phase, basically where every Cisco employee can play a key role. So every um, employee can submit ideas uh, of technologies that uh, could uh, disrupt, Cis could be either an opportunity or a threat to Cisco, both in the short term or in the long term. All these uh, uh, inputs uh, are then also combined with uh, more what we call data-driven inputs. Uh, so our team really use uh, relevant data sources like patents, uh, venture capital funding, uh, news, uh, in order to detect uh, emerging trends, not only using our internal network of scouts, uh, but also looking outside. 
all these uh, uh, inputs uh, are then uh, uh, collected uh, and uh, they go through what we call a selection phase. So in this phase, uh, our top senior engineers, uh, ranging from uh, Cisco fellows to distinguished en engineers and CTOs, uh, they uh, review these technologies uh, and they select them. The selection occurs along two main dimensions. Uh, a first dimension looks at the novelty of the technology, either to the industry, so the IT at large, or either to Cisco. The second dimension is uh, the business impact. So what uh, is the potential uh, business uh, uh, impact of the given technology uh, for, um, for the company and for the industry? Uh, when this selection is, um, uh, is finalized, basically the selected technologies are published. This publication occurs uh, quarterly and uh, it's uh, really uh, disseminated across the company in order to raise awareness uh, across all the business segments of what could come next. Uh, the nice thing about uh, the, the radar is that really we cover technologies uh, in uh, all the different phases of research, so really ranging from technologies that are still in the early stages, like in academic research, uh, till uh, technologies that are already into, into the markets. Uh, so, as I said, that this tool is really a technology foresight tool, so to help us in uh, looking for what's coming next. Uh, but I would say that uh, from a more strategic perspective, uh, is, is really fostering innovation and feeding our innovation strategy at large. So ranging from uh, you know, internal R&D research uh, to, investment, to our investment and acquisition pipeline to even our open ecosystem uh, uh, strategy. So which are the partners we should work with, which are the startups that, uh, with whom we should uh, engage. Just to give you an example, uh, uh, thanks to the radar, the radar basically fed uh, the investment and acquisition pipeline. If you think to the Intucell acquisition in 2013, we bought the company for 480 million, and the underlying technology of the company, self-organizing network, were, was on the radar since two years. So you see that uh, really this uh, knowledge helped the company in looking for new potential um, uh, areas of business. Today, uh, where we are? Uh, today, as I said, we started this initiative in 2010, since, uh, so, so it's already five years that we are running this process. And last December, we decided to open it to the whole industry. Why this decision? As I said, the, we see that the landscape is high volatile. As we said, the transitions could come from distant domains. So we said, OK, it's important that we unfold our vision to the whole industry. This could help our partners, our customers, the whole ecosystem in uh, okay, clarifying or working together on what's coming uh, next. So we have published a set of trends, uh, nine trends ranging from uh, security, so securing the IoT to growth of encrypted network traffic, uh, going till, uh, till mobility with dynamic spectrum access. Uh, now Sylvain will uh, provide you some uh, uh, insights on some of these trends. However, if you are interested to have a closer look, uh, really I suggest that you follow us at the next session so that we can uh, deep dive some of these trends uh, and we really want to also hear from, uh, uh, from you. We will also have uh, uh, host a pod uh, in the DevNet area starting at 10, so please come by if you want to, to talk with any uh, member of the team. And finally, you can find us at uh, techradar.cisco.com. So you can become a Cisco follower, a TechRadar follower, and you can also you know, interact with us if uh, you don't have time later to, to pass by. So, Sylvan. Thank you. So I'm not going to cover all the nine trends, but uh, I picked like three of them that I'm uh, going to give you a bit some of the, of the data insight that we, we gathered around these trends. To give you an idea of, uh, I mean, you'll see also on the on the on the report that you have on the on the seats, uh, which type of data insight we have. So these trends are uh, basically uh, securing the IoT, the real-time analytics, and predictive context. And I give you a bit of insight about the news analysis that we did, or the patent landscape, and uh, and the um, the VC funding analysis that we gathered around. So let's start with uh, securing the IoT. 
Uh, as you know, I mean, Cisco is, uh, is publishing like every year the video networking index. And one of the predictions is that in, uh, within the next three years, there would be as many sensors connected to the internet as uh, human on the planet. So that means around basically uh, 7.5 billion sensors. And that represents uh, more than one third of all the connected devices. In this context, there's, we, see, we see in the news that there are key sensors uh, from the news analysis. We see that, for instance, the home automation, and we saw also on the patent analysis with the home, home, home automation controllers or the health monitoring sensors or also the, um, the industrial controllers and sensors or the smart grid meters, for instance, are key sensors that, get, that are getting connected. And they are gathering very sensible data. So one of the key concerns in, in, the, in the IoT space is securing the, the connection and the, and the identification of devices. And we see in the news, actually, one of the top topics that are emerging in the, in the news are pri privacy protection, pr personal data, and also threat defense um, and security threats. If you look also at the, at the patent analysis on the left here, um, you see that the top pat patenting area are actually also privacy protection and, uh, and uh, threat defense. And it's interesting to see that the industry is trying to address the, the challenges of the, securing, of the security in IoT. And actually Cisco also ran an IoT security grand, grand challenge last year and the top uh, submitted application were actually around uh, these topics as well. So it's really the key uh, concern right now in, in IoT. If we look now at the real-time analytics, um, if, you, if we look at the news analysis, you'll see emerging the, the key technologies that are relying uh, under, the, uh, under this, uh, this trend. And you see few of the, of the uh, technology underlying are around obviously big data platform such as Hadoop and Spark. Also all the uh, complex event processing uh, capability. One, one key uh, technology is in-memory data grid because there is large data sets basically that need to be processed and, and these cannot go directly in the data center to be processed but they need to be really uh, processed as, as, uh, as there are this data is moving. One of the big uh, area also is the ma massively parallel co programming because these data are coming from everywhere and they need to be processed at, at a real time like in, in seconds or minutes. So if you send all these data back to the data center, it will take uh, more, than, more than, uh, than a minute to be processed. And the other thing that we see from the news analysis is also the top domain where real-time analytics is really key. One of the key domains is actually a CRM, customer relation management, because most of the company, they want to process uh, their customer data in real time because they need to, to really take decision um, in seconds uh, and, and really take this business decision rapidly to, uh, to adapt to their customers. One of the other domain is, is business intelligence because all the business operation need to be uh, really processed in real time to adapt uh, the, the, the production chain and things like that. And when we look at the patent analysis, we saw that uh, actually the, uh, the invention started in, in real time analytics more than 10 years ago. Uh, and there is right now more than 7,000 patents that were uh, filed in, in this area. And what is important is that now it's uh, like uh, stagnating, but that's, this innovation is fostering the, the, the business investment. We see a lot of now, if you look on, on this pyramid chart, most of the investment are in, uh, in seed and, and series A, so early funding. That means a lot of startups are, are using real-time technology and, and we see a lot of startup around actually, around uh, obviously, um, using uh, Hadoop and all these technologies to, uh, to, to give, uh, the, to give new, new applications and business applications. The last uh, trend that we look, we're going to look at is predictive context. So it's really linked to re real-time analytics as well. 
Uh, and in this area, basically, it's about uh, providing uh, the, the right information to the right people in, in, at the right time and in, in the right place. Um, you see that most of, the, uh, most of the news are talking about wearable devices or also uh, big data and, uh, and uh, customer experience. Here, it's really about uh, giving uh, the right information, for instance, of wearable devices where there is very limited um, display capability, so you need to, to get the relevant information where, where you are traveling and things like that. So it's really processing a large amount of data set and, uh, in real time and giving this uh, information based on your location, based on your, based on your activities. And here, key discussion are around the Android Wear, the wearable devices, or Google Glass, or recently Microsoft HoloLens, which is really uh, contextual new devices. If we look at the patent analysis in this area, uh, the key domain actually are really um, around the location services. And we see that most of the innovation are happening in the domains as, as transportation or consumer goods and retail. Uh, mainly because these, uh, these domains are really using um, location of people to, to, to get them the right information, either contextual advertising or really in transportation, uh, giving them the right path based on their, if they are in the car or if they are uh, walking or if they are using public trans transportation. The last area is also energy because uh, there, there, there's a, a big need of uh, contextual uh, information to answer to alerts and things like that and, and really give the right uh, business solution to, um, at, at the right time, basically. So that's more or less the, the, new, the trends that we we're going to cover today. If you want to, to talk about the other trends, you can stop again at the booth or come to the classroom on the other side and, and we're going to discuss uh, the, the other trends. So again, to wrap up a bit, we saw that innovation is, is happening at a really fast pace now, but also it's spreading across a distant domain, not only IT, but really IT is going across, uh, across uh, the, the, the board now. Um, and that's the reason why we started this, uh, at Cisco this um, technology uh, intelligence process with a technology radar to capture this em emerging technology uh, and trends and particularly identify the ones that are disrupted Cisco industry, but also uh, could help Cisco uh, emerge in, in some uh, distant domain as well, such as healthcare uh, or other, other uh, industry, basically. So again, if you want to discuss about this topic, join us at the, at the, at the pod in the middle of the DevNet area around 10 or just after this session in the classroom. And what we're going to do just after this session is uh, give you an opportunity, and that's why you have a post-it on this uh, report, is give you a, an opportunity to give us your idea of new, new emerging technology that could impact Cisco or IT industry in, in, in general, basically. That's it. Thanks for listening.